Can you kick your tenant out if you're thinking of selling your tenant occupied property? I'll touch on this and other questions in this video that will address you if you're a landlord and thinking of selling your investment. My name is Greg Axford. I run a real estate team that works primarily out of the marketplace of Coquitlam, Port Moody and Port Coquitlam, collectively known as the Tri-Cities. And my whole goal of this channel is to educate you if you're thinking of buying or selling real estate. If you could click the like button before we proceed, it would be greatly appreciated. That'll help me get out this information to other amazing people like you. And by all means, please, if you'd like to join our community here and stay educated, please hit the subscribe button as well. And if you're thinking of buying or selling or would like any of your questions answered, please uh, below in the description, there's a, a Calendly link. You can book an appointment with me to discuss anything on the top of your mind. Uh, you're able to choose the day and the time that's convenient for yourself. Selling a tenant occupied home can be tricky. And because it's somebody's home uh, that probably doesn't want to leave, it can also be emotional. Since we have a property management division, I've sold a lot of tenant occupied properties. And I've seen it through both sides, through tenants of ours that have had their places sold by their landlords. And I've also uh, sold places that have had tenants in it from landlords of ours. Regardless of the situation, the Residential Tenancy Act exists and the Residential Tenancy Act is black and white, basically. So let's figure out if you can even sell your property. Uh, there are typically two types of leases. There's a fixed term lease and then there's a periodic, which is typically a month to month, sometimes uh, week to week or day, day to day. Tenants are entitled to stay unless they're breaking the lease terms for the entire duration of the fixed term lease. And after the fixed term lease is up, they automatically roll into a month to month. During the fixed term, you may not give notice to uh, the tenant to vacate period. So if you're six months into uh, a one year fixed term lease, you cannot give notice to the tenant. Doesn't matter if you wanna move into it, uh, whatever the situation, they're entitled to stay there the entire time. After the fixed term is up, so you say when your lease is up, it automatically rolls into a month to month lease. And the only uh, way that you can give notice to a tenant to vacate, even if they rolled into a month to month, is that you or immediate family, meaning a parent, a child, spouse, wants to uh, move into the home or you're gonna do a substantial renovation which requires the heat uh, water to be shut off uh, or uh, the place is uh, what they call unsafe to live in. Now I've found that a lot of investors or new investors, people that aren't familiar with the Residential Tenancy Act are under the um, assumption that after the, the, the fixed term of the lease is up, whether that's one year, two years, whatever, that they can give notice to the tenant to vacate um, because they want to sell the property. Uh, this is incorrect. And there's new legislation that they've passed. It's fairly recent within the last few years that um, holds a little more accountability for the landlord. So if you uh, give notice to a tenant to vacate because you want to move into it or immediate family, or you say you're gonna do a renovation, and you don't do that, and the tenant finds out and they make a case with uh, the tenancy branch, you can be liable for up to 12 months of rent if you've falsely uh, given them that information. So that's a lot of money. I obviously don't advise that. Uh, however, there is a form called a mutual agreement and tenancy. I'll put it up on the screen here. You can have a look. It's also available at the uh, branch website. Uh, all the forms and rules and regulations, everything's available there. Uh, so with this form, if they agree to sign it, then you sign it, then you can ask them to vacate prior to the uh, end date on their, their lease agreement. So if they're six months in and they sign it, in six months into a one-year lease and they sign it, uh, you can technically uh, ask them to leave before that if uh, it's a mutual agreement between the two people. Now with this, however, use caution because I have heard of cases uh, where the uh, tenant has said, well, I, I didn't understand what I was signing or um, I was under uh, duress or something like this. So uh, just make sure that everything's documented, everything's very clear uh, on both sides if you're going to go this route. When I sell a tenant occupied property, I'll always try to meet the tenant prior to it being listed to discuss uh, any questions that they have. 
set the expectations, discuss showing times, and I've found that clustering showings uh, throughout the week works a lot better than maybe disturbing them on a day-to-day. -day. So if you were to say, uh, let's do a one day on the weekend for a few hour a window there, and then one weekday evening during the evening or something like that, uh, just it's a lot less intrusive and, and inconvenient for the tenant. I've, I've found that, that it does work a lot better. Another thing that I'll do is I'll make sure that either myself or a member of my team is there to show the property. I would never put a lockbox on a tenant occupied home. Uh, it's just a bad idea. There's too many things that can go wrong, too many variables. Uh, so making sure that somebody's there from our group uh, to let the realtor and the buyers through and make sure that the home is, uh, lights are off, uh, doors are locked, all of that kind of stuff. And then also to advise the tenant when the showings are all done that everything, lights are off, home's locked up and, and you know, they can return home anytime. Another nice thing that we've done is, you know, we do appreciate tenants being cooperative. So if everything's going well and they're allowing us to show the home, uh, we realize that it's, you know, it's a major pain in the butt for them. So uh, we will often leave a gift card for a, for a local restaurant or a coffee shop or something like that, just to show our appreciation and, and uh, some thanks for, you know, uh, their cooperation and letting us into their home because ultimately uh, that is what's happening, right? And of course, you know, follow the golden rule. That's basically what we do. We treat others as we would want to be treated. I've found that uh, some respect, open communication and kindness goes a long, long way. And that is what we try to do. If you have any questions about selling your tenant occupied home, I'd be happy to answer. You can give me a call, text, send me an email, or you could type below uh, any questions that you have and we will get back to you. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it and happy house hunting.